Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I have a first for me, which is my first order slash haul from Miss A. And as I said before, oops, I showed that wrong. Ah, uh, it's still backwards. Okay, Miss A. As I said before, Miss A is an online an online dollar store. They do have other items. Um, as I said, they carry skin items, all kinds of skin items, makeup, nail products, hair care, shower stuff, and they also sell what I call collections and a proceed of the money from any of their collections goes to different charities that they do in fact um, uh, like to um, like to donate money to causes that they believe in. And for folks who are wondering, um, I had my granddaughter do something that I had done in my hair a couple of years back um, where I had a underlayer actually dyed very dark brown and the rest blonde. Now I'm noticing that it takes longer and longer for my roots to actually lighten. Indicating to me that keeping my hair blonde like this may become a problem down the road. And I may actually wind up having to just darken my hair possibly to this kind of brown down the road. Because if I can't get my roots to lighten without seriously damaging my hair, then eh, it really isn't going to be worth it. You know, um, so I don't know. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But, um, yeah, so now for the moment, I sort of have like the underlayer, dark brown, um, two-tone hair thing going on, which I like, by the way. I love it when I see people that have like darker hair underneath, blonde on top. I get the biggest kick out of that. I think that's actually pretty cool. Um, you know, so I don't know. I'll see how this, you know, goes for me. I'm not going to let my roots get as bad next time as they did for me this past time. Um, they were really bad. They really were. And that's part of the reason why it took so much longer, um, just because they were that bad. But, um, you know, I don't know. I have said at times that maybe when I hit, like, say, around 60, that I would consider just saying to heck with the bleaching because I've done it for, like, two-thirds of my life and just maybe go with the dark brown. I've had my hair dark before, I've had my hair black, I've had my hair dark brown, light brown, frosted, all different shades of red. Um, I mean, brown doesn't look bad on me, actually. I have some older photos, way older photos of me on Facebook with my hair actually, um, a darker brown. And I actually thought it looked nice on me. It, it, it didn't look weird on me at all. So, you know, I don't know. I'll think about that down the road. Um, black doesn't look good on me. That is just too much contrast. Black. Red actually did not look bad on me either. Different shades of red. Not like a strawberry blonde red, but like cherry and mahogany and burgundy. Those kind of reds looked really good on me. Um, like a darker cherry kind of red, even up to, I want to say maybe like, um, oh, I want to, uh, what was the one color called years ago? Black cherry. And it was a red that was like a darker red with like a purplish in it. Really nice. Um, but something like a copper red. Mm, no, nope, 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 nope. Um, a pinkish red actually did look pretty good on my hair at one point. Um, but it didn't last long. It fades out so quick. So anyway, here I am babbling about my hair. To heck with my hair. Um, let's get into this very first Miss A haul. So I am carefully opening up this special bubble. Um... Wrap. I'm thinking that it's like me for them because it, um, it is like, wow, it has like 
so much like compression pressure in it um to like really keep keep things in here uh secure that's for sure i'm like wow um let me see if i can open it on the other end like wow this is really um this is harder to hard to get things out of ah uh, you know i have got to see if i can pop this in some way shape or form um okay sorry about that guys i popped it it you know um yeah, that was really wow. I never encountered that before, I can tell you. Righty, righty, righty. So I have two of these big bubble wraps full of items. So first well, I'll start with the obvious. Last item I just took out. These are 100 piece bobby pins. Um, these are all different colors. And you might think, why would you want bobby pins? Believe it or not, they do help when you have your hair up in a bun and you have a scrunchie over it. If you have layers, like I do. Sometimes throughout the course of a day, layers will slip down. And having bobby pins, maybe that at least match the color of the scrunchie, looks kind of cute, keeping your loose hair ends um, all tidied up. So, yeah. Also, I have found bobby pins to actually be very useful for other things. How do you think I held my start on my artificial Christmas tree each Christmas? Bobby pins. So, I have two three packs of, uh, what are these, KN95 face masks. Um, I got one for me, and I got one for Ronnie. These are 95% um, filtering particles, dust, pollen, and Ah, uh, so, yeah, these are supposed to actually be the ones that they're recommending more to people to wear now if you can't wear a double mask. So, yeah, I got two packs, one for me and one for Ronnie. I seen this, I had to get it just simply because of what is on it is sunflowers. Yes, I had to get this little... Uh, sunflower makeup pouch. It doesn't have to be used for makeup. It's actually quite cute. Um, has sort of like a ziplock kind of closure on top. I just wanted it mainly for the sunflowers. I'll figure out what to do with it later. And it was only a dollar, so. But, um, it's really, really cute and loving the sunflowers. So, let me see here. This is, this is a set. It is a little, little, um, like a mini claw clip. And trying to see what is in here. Or is that just, uh, okay, that's just the way, I think that's just the way the wrapper is. Okay, yeah, it is. It's a little claw. And then it's this really pretty um, little bobby pin with pearls. Which actually will go really, really cute with some inexpensive pearl style earrings, long one soups and that, that I got from Boba. I will have to include them in um, another haul. Maybe when I do a small Dollar Tree haul soon in the next day or two, 
Um, I can add them on at the end just to show you guys what I um, what I got. Now this I got for self-explanatory reasons because one, it is washable. So it is actually, you know, good for traveling or being bounced around in one's purse. And two, because I'm a Sagittarius. And, um, I mean, I have these two beige-colored makeup bags I switch off with. Um, one says something about, you know, I need the things in this bag or I scare children. I got that Spirit Halloween a couple years ago. And then the other one says something else, a little sarcastic. I got it from Dollar Tree. Um, so this is actually a little bit bigger size than both of them. And um, I could switch them off with this. As long as they're washable, it's good to do because they do get dirty inside. Things leak. Um, you might get actually like streaks of things inside your dirty hand. So, yeah. Um, actually quite good to, you know, give them a wash every so often. Alrighty, so this is one like of the sets I was talking about. As I said, there's several different ones and the proceeds of their sale go to different, um, Charities, causes. These are five piece overbrush set Velody Dense Fibers. And these are these makeup brushes that I often stare at in stores and wonder, you know, should I or shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't I? And Eris has, I think, two of these. So Eris has raved about them how often and I have just not actually gotten around to getting a set of them till now. And now I have a set and ooh, it does feel like velvet. Hmm, that does feel quite nice. I heard that these are amazing for blending foundations and creams and things on your face. So I'm definitely going to have to try them out. Let me see here has on the box which ones are for what that big one is for primer foundation next size up is for blush third one is for eyeshadow application next one is for highlight contour nose and eyeliner and then the last one is actually for smudging and lip color hmm. can be used for either or so that's actually pretty cool and I can't wait to show Ronnie, well, Paris, and Ronnie, that I got this set. Uh, these particular, um, these particular brushes. Okay. Next is a new logo brush. I have a ceramic one I actually got from Wish, the one I've been using for the past three years. Um, it's actually really, really good. It has a magnetic tip, and I keep it in a, um, a, cute, little copper, a cute little copper colored, um, like a little cup. I guess it was for like pencils or something a couple of years ago at Dollar Tree and the magnet holds it in place in there so it doesn't fall over um but i've noticed that the bristles are starting to wear out on it because i do use it a lot so i thought it might be time to invest in a new brush and this is a good size it's the same size barrel that i'm using uh, right now and uh, obviously it looks like it has good to you no know, airflow uh with all the openings there, definitely a good steady airflow and uh, the heat and everything. So this is Urban Salon Pro Styling Brush, styling and finishing, even heat distribution, like we designed for easy maneuvering. And uh, this is Cala Products from Los Angeles, California. So uh, yeah, that wasn't expensive either. I think I see my order, uh, my packing slip in there in the other part. I'm going to go with everything with you when I'm done. This is, ta da 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 a mirror. And of all the DIYs and things I do, I do have a hand mirror. But 
Um, I kind of did it, I guess, more for decor than actual use. It was a DIY. It was like a gift idea at the time. So I don't really have um, an actual hammer. So I seen this and it was not expensive. I thought, you know what, woman, you need. And so I have. And this has the emblem of AOA Studio uh, on it. And that is exactly what's on the uh, little sunflower pouch. What's on the Sagittarius pouch, actually. Um, it's the brand of makeup and accessories and products that Miss A does carry. So this is actually really, really cute. And I'm like, hey, hey, hey. And kind of crazy, huh? Um, Ronnie has a Jeffree Star mirror that ran over $20. And I have a mirror from Miss A that ran under $2. Oh, well. He doesn't get treated very often to things like that. So you know what? He deserves to have, him and Eris deserve to um, have some nice things, you know? Only live once. I mean, you can take care of business month in, month out, month in, month out. But it is nice at times when you can to treat yourself. So, this is a set I purchased, and I believe this is a set. Um, let me see here. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking this is the spa set. It has, it has self-care tools. Um, this has little square little square um, things on. Well, they actually seem kind of hard, like rollers. I think that's for your face, for your skin. I've seen those type of things before. This is a little um, makeup cleanser brush. Um, you can, you know, just like rub that on your skin, remove makeup and stuff. Um, that's that's pretty good. This is a facial cleansing pad. It's a scrubby one. Now, Ronnie has one of these and swears by it. You know, likes it because it's the silicone. Says it's really good for, you know, like dry skin and things. Um, he really swears by his. Keeps his in the shower. Washes it frequently. And he really swears by these. So, I'll be giving that a try one of these times. This is a bubble bar. Uh, this is some type of, I believe this is like a bath bomb. I'm thinking that's what it is. Something that dissolves in the, uh, in the tub. Here's a cute little headband so you can clean your skin. And it has little ears, which is actually kind of cute if you're doing a spa thing. You know, got your hair up, taking care of everything. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is Brazil Nut Oil Premium Hair Mask. Nourishes and helps hair grow. And this would probably be good. There is Sunflower Mega... Excuse me. Sunflower Mega Care. That's what it says up there. Sunflower Mega Care. Hmm, um, considering I just had my granddaughter color my hair, yeah, I'm going to be looking to pampering my hair with any and everything that is nourishing, that is rich, that is good for, um, that is good for, you know, your hair. Facial mask, avocado, regeneration of skin cells. Go. And uh, this is a 3D sleeping mask. Um, this thing that says 3D. I'm trying to see what's on the other side. Well, I'm curious. I want to 
open it up and I want to see what's on the other side. So, get this little opening here. Let's see what it is. Um, oh, wow, that is pretty clever. Um, straps go on back of your head very comfortably so your eyes can close and rest in here. And, um, there's your little nose piece. Oh, that's pretty cool. I know Dollar Tree sells them. Um, they're often printed with such cute things, you know, like Diva and things about sleeping and this and that. Um, I actually didn't feel right wearing one many years ago. Um, my thought was the second I have an eye mask on like this, there's going to be some creepy weird thing that's going to be staring at me and I can't feel it and I can feel it and I can't see it. And then when I tear it off, there's going to be like some ghostly spectral thing or whatever staring at me. I don't know why I had that mindset. It was silly. Um, well, maybe not necessarily silly, but it, it was kind of comical. And, uh, but it might be good, especially if I'm just having insomnia. Maybe it might actually help me relax. Because maybe if my eyes aren't being bothered by any kind of light or that, then... Um, maybe falling asleep would, you know, come a little bit more natural. Here is AOA Sugar Lip Scrub. I've used lip scrubs before and they are amazing. This is She mm, Makeup Argon Oil Tender Lip. I'm thinking this is a lip gloss. Oh, okay. It's a very pretty, um, like a pinkish pale sort of, sort of lip gloss. No lip plumpers or anything in this. Ooh, a lot of gloss though. Oh yeah, makeup gloss there. Hmm. Darn. Yeah, that's really coming through in my video too. All that gloss. Oh. Huh. Well, that's actually pretty cool. I'm liking that just because of that gloss factor. Like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I can make that work. And this is some sort of little bag. I'm thinking I grabbed it so I could keep some of these items in it. That's what I'm actually thinking. Um, so it's like a little zippered bag. Uh, a little smaller than what I actually expected, but I could definitely put some of these items in there. So that was my main thing with, um, with that. All right, let us get into um, bundle here. And there's not much actually left to go through. So, and I said, um, Miss A sells things like cute underwear and socks. The problem with their underwear is it sells out so quick. Part of my frustration with this website, now I've heard about this website for like almost two years now. And the reason I never ordered from it before was because I would go on, I'd see like some really cute underwear and be like, oh, I want them, I want them, I want them. And I go to order them and they're all sold out. They sell out of underwear, like, so quick, so crazy. Cute socks. Um, I know they replenish them frequently, but still, it seemed every time I went to go on and a few things caught my eye and I wanted to buy them, well, unfortunately, they were out of them. So, at least the time, I was sort of lucky because I was able to score, actually, one cute pair of underwear, which I'll show you in a minute. First, I'm going to show you another pair of sunglasses. Um, I wear sunglasses so much that sunglasses, for me, truly are, um, an accessory. I think I mentioned it before, that I had to start cataracts, and just in the very beginning stages, doesn't affect my vision, per se. Um, and I noticed, oh gosh, I want to say for like past 10 years, 
that wearing sunglasses actually um, helps with glare. Even in the winter, glare of the sun on snow, um, as much as I love the sun, I do have to wear sunglasses practically all year round. And it may be because I wear sunglasses so much and wearing my glasses when I need to wear them here at home that the progression of my cataracts has been like minimal to like nothing, which is a good thing. Um, because like I really do need my eyes. We all need our vision. I couldn't even begin to imagine what it would be like if I couldn't see like, oh my God, don't even want to think about that. So this is a cute pair of sunglasses I got. Um, I'm actually liking the shape and I'm liking that they're so dark. Yeah, I, I really do like that. I'm also liking the tight arms. Some sunglasses I notice have like looser arms that move up and down a lot. And I don't feel that they retain their shape. They don't stay on your ears for long. Uh, kind of weird, I guess. Maybe like a hang up of mine. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, so anyway, one really cute pair of underwear that I was able to grab um, because I like the cute little black lace on them. And these are like a cream. I might come across as white when you're looking at the video. Um, they're not white. They are actually like um, an eggnog color, but they come across in the video as white. And these are by a brand called Mint. Um, these are my usual size. I've been wearing the past couple years now. A large. These are actually like made really, really good. These are pretty good quality. Um, even the underwear that I got off of Wish was actually made really good too. These are 95% cotton, 5% spandex. Um, you know, like I said, um, some other YouTubers have bought things off of the site and, you know, have given a lot of things good reviews. So, um, you know, I mean, it was just a matter of time I was going to get on that site. I just didn't know when I'd actually be able to get through. Now, these are these clips. These are the gold colored ones. Um, if I happen to be able to find the silver ones on there, I'm going to grab the silver. And the reason I like these is because these come in handy if you do have your hair in a braid and you have loose hairs coming. You can use these in an arrangement with your hair that they look really, really nice. And you can't tell that you're tucking away little stray hairs. I remember having clips like this back when I was in high school. <coughs> they were really handy to have. Especially after like gym class or swimming class in the summertime. Um, so, so many of mine I've lost pairs to. I've had ones that have like different colors, you know, like on them, enamels and metallics and everything. Um, so many of them I lost their pairs to like over the years. So at least I can kind of start over with these. They're good to have. So let us get into the last few items here. We have 80% hand sanitizer, 80% alcohol. <coughs> Um, this is good if you um, just want to spray something really quick in your hands, like you might touch something real quick instead of digging around, you know, for your hand sanitizer and squeezing it out, etc. Blah blah blah. A little bottle of hand sanitizer spray like that is really good to have. I wanted to try this because. I've heard like some of their makeup is actually really good. And this is Ab, Ab, Ab use, Abuse Matte Finish. And this is their foundation. This is, I have to look on the form to see what it is. But this is like, I believe I got like a medium shade, a light to medium. Um, Again, it looks lighter in the video than what it is. 
it is more like a very light video. Like I said, I'll be going over that list in one video. And this is the other kind that caught my eye. This is Buildable Satin Foundation AOA Studio. And this is more like a kind of like a dropper type of foundation. Um, that one seems to be about the same shade as the two foundation. Again, they were only like a dollar, I believe, each. So not like I spent a lot of money. And I'm just curious. I wanted to check them out. Um, you know, as I said, there is some products that, you know, some YouTubers have given free reviews for. And I believe only one of them is their moisturizer. I grabbed Anti-Aging Lux Beauty Care, Anti-Aging Skin Cream with Collagen, and this is Lux Collagen Skin Cream. And I'm thinking it might have been the Cheap Chick. Used one of these. I really, really liked it. If it wasn't the cheap chick, then it was another YouTuber. For some reason, I'm thinking it was the cheap chick. Um, I'm picturing her actually, like, I could see her in my mind, like, doing a video and, like, holding one of these and talking about one of these. So I'm inclined to say that it was the cheap chick maybe from, like, a video a year or two ago um, that tried like one of these moisturizers and really liked it. So, you know, we will um, check them out and see what you know. I'm gonna open one of the boxes up so at least we see what the tubes look like. Um, let me see here. Ah, it's taped. Okay. Now, I have seen this Lux brand in Dollar Tree on occasion. That's the anti-aging skin cream. I have seen this Lux brand in Dollar Tree in the past. So, um, yeah. Now, quickly, before I end this video, I'm going to go over my list. Uh, the Boho Print Colorful pouch. Let's see. That was... Do we have prices? Hmm. No, we don't have prices. We just have what I got. Um, AOA Drop Liquid Foundation Light Tones Buff. Paw Paw Mirror. AOA Clear Makeup Pouch Sunflower. Paw Paw Five Piece Overbrush Set. Styling Brush Metallic Bronze. Self-Care Pampering Skin Spa Kit, Reuse Canvas Pouch Sagittarius, um, Amuse Matte Finish Foundation, Color Number 2 New, um, that's something like a buff as well, Lux Anti-Aging Cream, Skin Cream, Rhinestone and Pearl Butterfly Hair Pins, Gold, uh, let's see what else we got here, 100 piece bobby pins, 12 piece large metal snap clips, rhinestone and pearl, butterfly, hairpin, gold, okay, a small rhinestone studded twist jaw clip, alrighty, 80% alcohol and a septic spray, uh, two KN95 face mask, three pack, waist lace cream panty underwear, and vintage style sunglasses, black. Um, I do know that it was around $35, I want to say, for everything that I got, because I did get free, um, shipping, and I do believe it's free shipping on everything over $30, $35. So, um, I will include the link to Miss A down below, and if you are even least bit curious, um, you know, you can go on check out and see everything that they have. 
Like I said, if you do see cute underwear socks you like, you have to jump up quick and grab them. They sell out. Uh, so many things so quick. So much of their makeup sells out. Um, like I said, I almost thought the site was a scam because I could never get anything I wanted. Um, and then I watched enough videos of people who shopped on their site saying that, you know, they sell out of things frequently and you really have to keep going back and checking. So with that being said, guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit my bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Take care, good night, and I will see you all on my next one, which will be tomorrow. I always do my food pantry videos the day I go to the food pantry. I don't like record it, say, on Thursday and then upload it Saturday. My food pantry videos are always actually done the same day. Maybe later in the evening, I will upload them, but they're same day videos. Other videos may be recorded a day or two difference here or there. The food pantry videos, guys, I'm telling you, and usually um, grocery haul videos are usually uploaded the same day that I get the items, whether it's an online order or I went to the store shopping. Once in a while, I try to make an exception with that, but for the most part, I do um, do it same day. But I'm telling you, I've never wavered from it. Food pantry videos always upload day that I go. So, food pantry video tomorrow. Take care. Good night. See you on my next one. Bye.